Hello peoples! Not too long ago I made a video in which I just showcased a simple stabilizer test for one of my tanks that I was building at the time. And under that video I got quite a few responses asking me how. Okay, so for those people who are not in the know, a stabilizer is basically a mechanism that helps you keep your gun level when you're driving about. When a vehicle doesn't have a stabilizer, you'll notice that it's kind of hard to aim when you're moving about because, well, your gun goes all over the place as your vehicle goes over bumps. When you have a stabilizer, the gun is basically disconnected from the body and the gun can maintain itself perfectly level even when the body of the vehicle isn't. Now, of course, there are plenty of different types of stabilizers, but in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a simple vertical stabilizer that doesn't really use any funky tree code because I know how afraid some people can be of that hacker man stuff. What is that? Honestly, I believe that this method is simple enough so that anyone can basically do it within 30 seconds. So let's get going. First of all, you're of course going to need a vehicle. Maybe you have a tank, maybe you have an APC. In this case, I just have the best military vehicle in the world. Um, uh, then let's just quickly you a turret onto that and then uh, boom, there you go. Now you'll notice that when I drive this around at the moment, the gun goes all over. Okay, yeah, this joke kind of really doesn't work. <laughs> I guess I'll just use this APC instead. The first step is to find the location from where you want your gun to hinge, aka from where you want your gun to rotate. Now in this case, there already is a gun there, so I'm quickly going to remove that. Then, I proceed to place a small rotator on the position from where I want the gun to rotate. I also quickly disable the base mesh for this rotator, which basically just means that I'm making it slightly smaller in appearance. Now, it's important to note that this rotator itself is not what's going to be stabilizing our gun. We're going to use a gyroscope for that later. Instead, this rotator will be the hinge from our gun, but it will also be the part that limits the amount of motion our gun will have. Basically, what we can do is we can set the speed to floppy, which means it can just move around freely. And then by setting the range to, in this case, 10 degrees, it means that it can only move around freely from minus 10 to positive 10 degrees. In short, it basically means that our gun will be limited to movement within this triangle. Then the next step is simply to add your gun, and then we'll quickly also add a counterweight to the back of our gun where we can mount the gyroscope. Now the gyroscope is what's going to keep our gun level. So it's important that you set this up properly. There's quite a few part properties for the gyroscope that you can change. First and foremost, the most important is probably going to be the pitch range. By setting the pitch range, we basically limit how far we can pitch up or pitch down with our gyroscope. In this case, I set it to about 20 degrees, which means our gyroscope can only be pitched up or down up to 20 degrees. Personally, I also like to change my pitch input for the gyroscope to VTOL, but of course you can change it to whatever you like. And then finally, a very important change to make is to be sure that you disable the auto orientation feature on your gyroscope. When you now spawn in your vehicle, there is a chance that your stabilizer is rather autistic. But don't worry, just like with real autism, this can rather easily be cured. In most cases, all you need to do is add some weight to your gun assembly, but if that doesn't work, you can always change the gyroscopic speed and gyroscopic stability of your gyroscope. Usually, when it spazzes out like this, it's better to lower the values a little bit rather than increasing them. Okay, so with that, we've basically just created a stabilizer. However, there are still two major shortcomings we should solve. The first issue we now have is that our gun depression is the same as our gun elevation. In real life, this is often not the case. And we can change this by basically selecting the entire gun assembly, making sure you select the piece that's directly connected to the hinge, and tilting it up or down a few degrees to create your desired effect. Basically, what we can do is if we tilt up the gun by five more degrees here, what will happen is that we can aim our gun f down by five degrees and up by 15. Of course, you can change this to whatever you want. And as you can see, if we now test drive this vehicle, you can see that we aim up more than we can aim down. Okay. So now we have a stabilized gun with at least somewhat realistic gun elevation and gun depression. However, there's still one problem that every stabilizer in this game seems to share. To best explain this problem, let's take a look at this diagram. The blue line here indicates the range of the small rotator. These are the physical boundaries outside of which the gun cannot elevate or depress. The red boundaries, as you can see here, those are the angles at which we can angle our gyroscope. So if our gyroscope pitch is set to a maximum of 20 degrees, then that line is going to be 20 degrees up and 20 degrees down. What will happen is that if we now rotate the vehicle downwards, for example, if we're going down a hill, 
then the limitation of where our blue lines are changes. So the limitation of the direction of our gun changes. However, as you can see, the gyroscope still stays on the same horizontal plane. This is because, of course, the gyroscope is disconnected from the rest of the vehicle and is trying to hold itself level. This means that on a downhill, we can actually not aim further down than the limit we set on our gyroscope. We can solve this issue by just simply making the angle at which the gyroscope can aim a lot larger than what we've set it to now. But of course, that will result in your input being a lot more sensitive. For example, if you use the V-stall slider like I do, this means that only about 20% of that slider at a given time actually controls the elevation of the gun. And if you go any higher or lower, well then you are still aiming the gyroscope, but the small rotator is then limiting the movement. Okay, um, so basically, in short, that's how you make a vertical plane stabilizer in simple planes. I just quickly want to mention once more that there's definitely hundreds of other ways to make stabilizers in simple planes. Again, this is just the most basic method I know that I personally use most of the time. Um, but if you have a better tutorial or a different tutorial, feel free to share it in the comments and perhaps you might help some other people out. Uh, and I guess with that, I want to thank you guys for watching. I also really, really, really want to thank you guys for subscribing um, because holy shit, that dopamine hit when seeing your subscriber count go from 60 to 1k is like insane. Um, what? <laughs> uh, again, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Uh, to those who haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Please contribute to the dopamine train. And then I guess I'll see you guys when I release my helicopter video. Um, <laughs> goodbye. Oh, there goes my water. Oh, for fuck's sakes.